Hey guys, it's me again from the Cube Toaster, and today I've got an unboxing from the Cubegold.us. And it looks like they sent me a rubber band as well. With that, let's let's open it with this very dangerous razor blade. Okay, so what we've got in this package is the Chi, Chi Ming Pyraminx, I believe. Um, kind of budget Pyraminx. The Guoguan Zinghen 2x2. This is the um, Chi Wuhui 4x4, I believe that's how you pronounce it. We have the YJ Guanlong Square 1 and the YJ Super Floppy Cube. Now, these two right here are actually Christmas presents for my siblings. Oh, and also I got some stickers and um, this cubicle stand and a rubber band. Now, this cubicle stand is different from my other cubicle stands. It's newer. Here are my other cubicle stands. As you can see, the newer one has a smaller logo right here. It has another kind of wire logo right there and white letters instead of black letters. There's stickers here for the 2x2 two two and the 4x4 four four if it needs it. I don't think it will because I heard it comes with the Volk shades which are currently my preferred shades. So what should we start with first? Um, let's start with the Chi, Chi Ming Pyramix. Here's the Pyraminx itself, it it feels it's kind of light I guess, got a bit of lube on the outside, um, the stickers seem a bit smaller I guess. In comparison to my X-Men Bell, um, they look to be about the same size, 98 millimeters across. Okay, so let's do first turns now. Oh wow. Tips aren't bad either. cord and cutting. Uh, not much there. Uh, reverse cutting kind of lacks. Yeah, well, it's a budget Pyraminx, and it's it's actually surprisingly good for its price, which was pretty cheap. The only problem of having it with it right now is that it locks up a lot, which I'm not very happy with, but this, again, this isn't for me, so... That's good. Cool. Now on to the other budget puzzle, the YJ Guanlong Square One. If you didn't know, Square One is my one of my favorite events. That being um, Square One and Skew, my favorite events. And you can already tell that the middle layer is much larger than the bottom and top layers. Here's my main square one, um, the cheese square one. And they look to be about the same size, but let's get into first turns. Ew, gross. Man. Um, well, it's certainly very catchy, and actually I think it's getting better as I turn it and twist it. It's getting a little bit faster, smoother, and this is again on really, really tight tensions, so I may loosen that up, but this isn't for me. The slice layer is actually pretty smooth, I like it. I just do not like how thin these layers are. This, this, this in my opinion, is too thick. Um, would I recommend this? No, I got the cheese curl one, it's much better. Um, well... Okay, on to the next cube. Now, let's see, I think I'm... I'm gonna save this one for last because I'm especially excited for it. 
Um, so let's start with the Wogwan 2x2, which I'm also very excited about. 2x2 two two is very, a very fun event. Um, and I'm trying to get better at it. I'm learning CLR right now. Um, I want to get sub 3. But, but it comes in this plastic wrap, so let's get that on. Aha! That was easy. Okay. Okay, here's the cube. Now this does come in the gold one shades, which I'm not a fan of. Kind of pale, not easily recognizable by me. I got stickers for that. Um, actually, it feels a little bit smaller than other 2x2s. Here it is in comparison with my Wapo, and it actually seems to be just a little bit smaller, or maybe actually the same size. Huh. I don't know why I thought it was smaller, probably because it has larger floor end holes. So, so that's cool, Wogon logo. Okay, let's get it in the first turns. Ooh. This is really loose. Corner cutting. Wow. This is a really good cube. It has a unique feel, kind of like the Yusha. Also by Glow One. It has a very unique feel. Um, and this is really loose, but I think this actually might be my main. Just how it's feeling right now. I need to. I'm going to tension it and re-sticker it, but already this feels really good. Corner cutting is about 45 degrees. Reverse cutting. Wow, reverse cutting is pretty good. Maybe almost almost a full QB. So we can get it there. Almost a full QB, that's really good. Um, it does corner twist easily though, really, really easily right now because of the incredibly loose tensions, but I am very happy with this. I'm going to play around with this, set it up, and I, I might do a review. Now let's get into the 4x4. Now I am getting more into 4x4 because I have made the, I made the cutoff at my competition as you saw in my competition video. Um, and I am really happy that I made that, and I want to get faster forward for now. Okay, so first thing, it looks like it does come in the Vault Shades. I guess I won't be needing these stickers. I'll probably do something else with them, maybe a sticker mod, I don't know. But this comes with the Vault Shades, which are my preferred shades. I love the Vault Shades. Um, this feels... Oh, it's... Medium tension, I guess. Um, it feels a little bit bigger than my mini Aosu. So here's my mini Aosu. And it feels just a tiny bit bigger. I think this is 60 millimeters, so I think this one on the website it said it was supposed to be 62 millimeters, like normal Aosu. Here it is with my Yushin Blue. Yeah, definitely a little bit bigger. Okay, well, let's get in the first turns. Oh my. Oh, this is this is already my main. Uh, the tensions are perfect. Oh, whoops. Lock up there. But that's something that can easily be fixed. Oh, this, this just turns out of the box. It turns really, really smooth. Really fast. Much faster than the Aosu. My Aosu is kind of clunky and sluggish right now. And I don't really like that, um, but this is, this turning on this is really nice and fast. Um, let's check inner layers. Wow, the inner layers are really good. I think this is the best 4x4 in the market right now. Um, with with some setup, it's going to be an amazing cube. If you're into 4x4 and you don't have this yet, get it. It is an amazing cube. So yeah. Uh, corner cutting, line to line, a little bit past line to line, uh, reverse cutting, maybe 
three quarters of a kiwi, almost a full kiwi. Uh, this is kind of on tight tensions for my liking, so I will will retension this later. But. Okay, the floppy cube. Um, well, it certainly seems really thin on this axis. It's kind of thin like that. It feels a little bit heavier than I expected. A little bit smaller than I expected as well. Um, but let's get in first turns. Whoa. That's so cool. I hope this will become an event someday. That would be really neat. So this turns like what? That is so crazy. That's so cool. Wow. Well, this is really neat. I'm excited to see if I could figure out a method to speed solve this. Um, but that's that, I guess. Um, it turns really well. It's very smooth. Of course, because it's made by YJ. Moyu. So, there's that. So that's it for the unboxing guys, hope you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, leave a comment for other cubes you want me to review, possibly, um, yeah, see you in the next video, bye!